Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. So now we're at the stage where we can start adding tasks into our final wedding plan. Now, before we get going with adding in our tasks to this plan, I want to take some time to talk to you about start and finish dates, because these are really important in project. Now, if you take a look at the project plan title where it says final wedding plan, notice underneath there, it says the 9th of August to the 9th of August. And the reason why it says that is because this is when I created this plan. So that's actually a couple of weeks ago now when I first created this. And because I don't have any tasks in this plan currently, it's just giving me 9th of August to 9th of August. As we add tasks into this plan, you're going to see that this finish day is going to change. So currently my project starts on the 9th of August and finishes on the 9th of August. Now, if we click on this, because it is a clickable link, it's going to pop open a little details pane on the right hand side. And this is really where you can come to define the start date of your project. Now notice here that we can change the start date. We can click on the little calendar planner icon just here and input our own start date, but we can't change the finish date. The finish date is automatically defined based on the tasks that you have in your project. So depending on what the duration is of the last task, that's going to define our finish date. And what you'll often find is that you'll input in all of your tasks. You might assign some durations to those different tasks. And you might find that once you've done that, your project ends up finishing at a later date than you first planned. For example, if I want to have this wedding in the summer, once I've input all of my tasks, I might find that the actual finish date of all of the tasks is in the winter. So I'm going to want to change the date that I'm starting this wedding plan. So the start and finish date is really important. Now, don't worry, you can change the start date once you've added in all of your tasks. You can even change the start date if you've added details into your tasks as well. And by default, when you create your first project, it's just going to give you a start date of the date when you create the file. So for me, that was the 9th of August. Now, as I said, I'm working a few weeks in the future at the moment because I created this a couple of weeks ago. So I want to define, first of all, when I want my project to start. Now, just for argument's sake, to make this nice and easy, I'm going to set this to a date in the future. So let's say I want this project to start right after New Year on the 2nd of January. So we're going to go into our calendar picker. And in this case, we're going to choose the 2nd of January 2023. If we close this pane down, now if you take a look in the top left hand corner, you can see it says 2nd of January 2023 to the 2nd of January 2023. So these are my current start and finish dates of this project. And this is going to change automatically as I start to add in new tasks. So just bear those start and finish dates in mind as you're working through your project plan. I'm going to show you a little bit later on how you can move your entire project simply by changing that start date and how it shifts everything else along to where you want it to start or finish. But for the time being, that is it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to start adding tasks into our project plan. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.